How can you transform the look and feel of the interior of your Tesla just like that? We're gonna show you on today's Tesla Tips and Trips. All right, on today's video, we are headed to my buddy's house to install the center console wood overlay from The Hills or hillsmade.com. He's got a 2019 Tesla Model 3 SR Plus, so, uh, and it has the black interior, so that makes a difference because it has the original walnut dash as well as the piano black uh, center console look and feel. So we are gonna transform the entire look of his car with this product and uh, we're gonna do it, uh, we're gonna show you the uh, unboxing, which is actually back at my house. Uh, then we're gonna show you the full installation, how to do it, some tips, tricks, and all that kind of stuff along the way. And then uh, we're gonna wait a few weeks, let it marinate, see how he feels after that time, uh, after living with it for a little bit, and we'll uh, show you all that uh, coming up on this video. So let's first up do the unboxing like we always like to do. All right, unboxing time from hillsmade.com. Hills is the company. This is the center console for a Gen 1 Tesla Model 3. We're going to outfit my buddy's car uh, to match the dash wood. So this is supposed to match the dash wood and make everything inside the car cohesive. So we're going to do the unboxing now and then we'll do the installation. So center console, like I just said, oh, it actually works for the Model Y as well. Uh, gen 1 though, center console, not the, next, the, the latest gen uh, for this particular one. They make it for that. Uh, so you can always check. Um, they make it for that model as well. But uh, for this car, for this uh, install, for this experience, we are going with the Gen 1. And it looks like right here is a ripper tab, which should uh, make life easier for opening this thing for the unboxing. Uh, these are samples, which I'll show you in a second, but let's uh, rip this open. Ready? So satisfying. Look at that. All right. So that's pretty easy. I like that. Pop this open, oh my gosh. So we got a code for uh, something here. $30 voucher, maybe I'll give that away later, unless you've already scanned it, I don't know. <laughs> Share your thoughts with Tesla owners. Hey, this is Slater, my cat. Um, he's gonna play around with that. That'll keep you busy too, right? <laughs> you could never uh, uh, anticipate unboxing videos and what's gonna happen. This is a fun little toy, I think, right? Yeah, look at that. So Tesla tips, trips, and cats now uh, on the program, on the channel. So check this out. I'm already blown away by the look of this. I don't want to break it, though. Oh, I just came right out. Okay. So really well wrapped. I mean, this is pretty uh, pretty well wrapped for, um, for shipping. I mean, look at that. So let's take a look at this. This is supposed to match the, um, the dash. Um, all set up with 3M tape on the back. So this is obviously the cup holder part. Um, already looks pretty nice. Let's set this aside, get this one out. Now the website claims this is real wood and I gotta say it sure feels and looks like it. Look at that. So that I believe is the part where the cell phones go, the charging area. So that's where that goes. Yeah, this has got to be wood. It feels like wood. Very well 3 m I mean, that's not going to go anywhere, is it? And then finally this piece, which is kind of the main one that takes the brunt of, of any of the, um, the center console stuff. So take a look at that. Very nice. I think that's it, right? Oh no, what's this piece? Another piece, little piece. Must be a, a trim piece. I'm gonna have to check out the um, installation videos, but here's another piece right there. So there you go, that's the unboxing of the Gen 1 center console stuff. Very well boxed. Even their paper says Hills on it. Um, this looks like a premium product. The, um, the center console that uh, my buddy has on his Model 3 now is kind of a rubberized thing. It didn't uh, survive COVID too well, it's a 2019. Lots of hand sanitizer, stains, all that kind of stuff. It didn't survive very well. I think this should hold up better and um, look better. I can't wait to see this on the matchup with uh, with the center console that's there. Now, let's take a look at this. They also sent me, I don't think they send this to everybody, but they sent it to me because they know I'm doing a, a review video. They sent me sample pieces. Um, so let me put those out for you. These are pretty cool. 
You can see all those? Yep. These are kind of dark, so let me show you those. It's kind of a, a dark, dark brown. And this is a black. This is pretty cool. If I were to choose one of these, I think I'd go with this black. This is very nice. It's got that wood grain in there. I don't know if you could see that, but it's black at the same time. I like black. So instead of like a carbon fiber or a rubbery black, matte black, this might be a, um, a way to go to, to change the look of the inside of your Tesla. So these are, are all their colors. Looks like five, like a reddish wood, um, uh, light maple, darker maple, I think. Um, I'll look on the website and see what their official colors are. But this black is really cool, and this is a dark, dark brown. So there you go. Those are the sample colors. These are the ones we're going to install. And um, let's get to that installation video and see how this thing is going to look. I can't wait. So excited. All right, let's get this uh, on the car. This is my buddy's car, 2019 Model 3 SR Plus. What we are going to do is transform the inside look of it, uh, you know, because he stares at this the most. And we're going to make it look like the OEM uh, wood dash. Uh, take a look at this. This is from Hills Made. And uh, it should match. Actually, at first glance, it looks like it does match. Now, keep in mind, the dash portion has aged in the sun for a little bit, so it's going to be uh, slightly off, but it's darn close. It's going to look good, I think. All right, before we get started, we've got to clean up uh, any dust, debris. I see some hairs there, cat hairs probably. Uh, we're going to use a little rubbing alcohol and a microfiber towel, and we're going to clean up this uh, piano black. I don't know what Tesla was thinking with piano black, but uh, we're going to clean this up first before we do the install. Let's do a little before shot of what the piano black looks like before we install this stuff from hillsmade.com. Amazing how much dust accumulates even while you're doing this. Just just, you know, flying around and stuff. So keep your, your microfiber with alcohol handy. Uh, if it does have alcohol on it, make sure you throw it on your, um, your uh, floor mats. You don't want it getting on the seats or whatever. It could burn a hole. All right, so we're going to start with this piece. Uh, so they said to, on the, the Hills Made uh, uh, video, to start with this piece with the long side up and get it uh, kind of as high off this groove as possible. Uh, my secret, if your fingernail doesn't work on these 3M sticky things, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, I get a little pair of needle nose, and look at that. Boom. Nice and easy. And we got a bunch of these to do, so uh, rather than getting, you know, frustrated and stuff. So we'll take that off, and we'll get this first piece on. Hellsmade said... Oh, I can't do it from here, can I? Hellsmade said there's a... Uh, precise order to this um, and we got to do this top piece first then we got to go back to the cup holder then we got to go back to the uh, middle piece and then finally the top piece okay that is the long way and certainly not as easy as you would think and it is sticky Confidence level is high, my friend. One piece in. Are we done? We're done. All right, that's it. Okay, up next is the cup holder portion of uh, the installation. And uh, we've got a lot of 3M tape here to remove. And uh, this should be fun as well. And how they asked us to do this one is to do the top edge first and then kind of overlay down here on this back edge. You would tend to want to think that you could use this back edge as your guide. But for some reason they said this side, so I'm gonna go with that. That's what they said. It's their product, and um, we will go with their recommendation. So, now we gotta do this 3M thing. This could take a half hour. All right, I have taken off all of the 3M backing, the red stuff, uh, successfully. A pro tip for you that I discovered along the way um, is take off all the interior ones first and then work your way around the edges because uh, you run out of places to hold. Um, just thought I'd share that. So, all right, here we go, moment of truth. This is the cup holder portion and they said to do it from the top. I'm gonna try to get into position here. Um, and we gotta put it on this, this edge here. How's that looking? I think 
that's pretty good. What do you think? That's good. Got a good edge here. That's kind of like sticking out. That's weird. I don't think I can do much better. This edge looks good. Whole well, edging looks good. This works good. All right, I'm gonna press down. They said 15 seconds. I thought this was going to be the hardest one, so that's a good sign. That's looking pretty good, I think. Right along the edge there, the hardest part was getting the, the red backing off the tape. And I gotta say, using the pliers, I'll show you a couple of those on the next one, is definitely the key. Look at that. Spiffy. All right, on to the next one, the middle portion here. All right, so the next piece is going to be the uh, the middle center section. This is what it looks like. It's kind of curved on the edge here, so um, it's going to be a little bit different uh, placement, I think. Um, another thing is I've been wiping down uh, every single time with the microfiber and the alcohol just to get all the dust off. Actually, I can see even more dust as we speak. Um, obviously not necessarily to clean it because you're never going to see this again, hopefully. Uh, if you like your install, but you just want to get the dust off real quick. So uh, again, I'm going to do these middle pieces first, and then I'm going to do the exterior. This one's going to be a little tougher to hold. Um, so uh, here we go. If you get a start on it, and then you could just pull it right off with the pliers. This is probably the best tip you can get. I know I keep saying it, but it'll save you a lot of time. And it does take time no matter what. Just get it started and pull. 3M tape is off successfully. Um, going right through it pretty quick with the uh, the needle nose. So this edge, I don't know if you can see that on camera, it kind of bows up, that's the top. And I forget, which way do they want to do this one? Top, down, uh, bottom? Bottom. Bottom on this one, okay. So we're gonna do bottom, uh, line it up, and uh, wish me luck. Almost had it. Don't know what the car's doing. Okay, so they said that because we're going to push down, this is going to slide up a little. So you could see a little edge over here. Um, don't freak out about that because as soon as we push down, that should slide up. I'm more worried about the edges, and I think we're good. Because again, this middle part is not down yet. You can see air. And so once we push down, I think it's going to be good. That top edge looks good. All right, we're going to press down. And this is the one that the screen's going to complain because, you know, we're pushing down on it. Yeah, this one's pretty awkward because of the, the mechanism. But I can see here on the bottom, it's pretty straight. And they said 15 seconds per thing. That clearing. I would prefer to do this in the summer, but we got it in the winter, so just because of heat helps with adhesive. All right, looking from back here. Let me grab the camera. It's looking pretty good. It's great. And it works, that's the important part. Let's make sure that's in. So the wood does flex. You think it might not with the um, these curves and stuff. I mean, there's a lot of curves on this center thing, and um, it seems to be working well. And they do provide a lot of the 3M adhesive. So in my experience with 3M automotive adhesive, it sticks really well, but at the same time, it does come off easily when you decide to take it off, and usually doesn't damage things. It's the same stuff by the way, that they use on the rear spoiler for the Tesla Model Y performance. Although, that does lift on the edges in my experience. All right, center piece, looking pretty good. Let's lift this up and see. 
Look at that. All right, one more to go. And we'll call it a day. Final piece. We uh, got all the 3M uh, tape off. Again, I did these three middle pieces, then I worked my way around just so I had somewhere to uh, to hold on to. And uh, this is the last piece, and hillsmade.com, their video there says to uh, work your way from the bottom to the top. This piece is probably gonna be the hardest because I, I, I aligned it up before the tape removal, and there's some play here on the edge on either side. So it's not as tight as this one is down here. Um, so uh, again, wish me luck. They said 15 minutes on the install. It's a little longer than that. Of course, we're doing a video here, but um, so hold it on the edges. You really only have kind of one shot at this. Um, and I'm going to work. I'm going to try to get it right here on the bottom edge. And then, which I think I have. Looks good. I think that's it. That's on the bottom edge. So if we let this go. Just gently let it down. That's looking pretty good. I have not pressed down yet, so... I mean, they say you only have one shot at this, and I tend to believe them because this stuff is sticky. But the top edge looks good. You also want to have clearance between here and on the top edge because these are all movable parts, and you want them to clear, and I think there's going to be no problem with that. All right, we're going to push down. And don't worry about that, because that'll just pop up when you're done. So again, 15 seconds. There is tape everywhere on this thing. So just kind of work your fingers around the edges, around the centers. You'll remember where the tape is. And uh, it should stick pretty well. You know, and they say 15 seconds, but you know, it's gonna take a day or so to cure. It's not like the you're using this constantly anyway. And then when you're done here, it's gonna pop up and you just place it back down again. So the molding of these wood pieces are dead on accurate with the, uh, the contours of the console itself. It's pretty impressive. All right, I'm gonna let it up. And bring it back down. And I think we're good. Man, that looks good. I hate to have a, an opinion so quickly, but you're driving around. Ooh, I'm driving my three. Oh, look, look at this. Looks amazing. Where did that come from? It uh, it definitely looks good to the um, the center console. We'll do a an after shot here in a second. But uh, looking good. So this goes up. This goes up. Do they go together? Well, I don't see why they wouldn't. Perfect. There we go. And then you got the, this is looking really nice. Definitely a premium looking product for sure. So uh, we're gonna give this a few weeks after uh, we shoot the after shot here in a second. We'll give it a few weeks. We'll get uh, the owner who is behind the camera, his uh, opinion, uh, living with it for a little bit. Uh, but first glance, man, I think it looks pretty good. All right, let's take a look how this looks walking up to it. Look at that. So that's how it looks compared to the uh, the OEM dash that's already there. And as I get in the driver's seat, this is what I'm looking at. So it goes all the way from the center uh, cubby here, all the way up. And all the way into the top here, there's that little piece that we started with. And now I see why you need that. It just kind of finishes off the look. So from the driver's view, you can see the uh, the OEM dash here. And this is the Hillsmade stuff right here. And it is darn close. It's the walnut that is the, uh, the OEM. So very cool. Let me show you from the passenger side.
look at the carnage after doing all this. That's a lot of red stuff. So uh, <laughs> just make sure you have this and you'll be good to go. Okay, so I've had the uh, center console cover from hillsmade.com for a couple weeks now. And I have to say, I love it. It's really well made, solid, uh, fits with the car. You can, you can see it kind of blends really well. I love that it creates kind of a T effect, like a Tesla T effect. Uh, the fit is really good. It's durable, solid, um, looks great, brightens up the interior of my car. Again, can't say enough about it. Really love it. All right, there you go. Pretty easy installation, if you ask me. Obviously, we were in the middle of doing a YouTube video at the same time, so this took a little longer than it would say take you because I'm assuming you're not doing a YouTube video at the same time, although everyone with a Tesla seems to have a YouTube channel. I don't know how that started. <laughs> so anyway, uh, very easy installation, very straightforward if you listen to the tips from hillsmade.com as well as some of the stuff that I discovered along the way uh, doing our installation. There's some uh, little nuggets of information if you roll back and uh, check that out once again if you want to see exactly what made this installation so easy. So uh, my buddy's super happy with it. It looks amazing. If you think about it, as a Tesla owner or any car owner, you spend most of your time looking at the inside of your car. And most people don't take the, the time to mod it to the way they like it, customize it, make it your own, make it something that you want to look at. Uh, don't just accept what Tesla gave you. And in this case, on a 2019 with black interior, they give you a walnut dash and a piano black center, which is a little weird. Um, obviously, I, I think that's weird. So here's a great way to customize it, make it your own, and totally transform the look of the inside of your car that you are looking at constantly. Unless you have an office uh, overlooking a parking lot that looks at your car, uh, you're chances are you're looking at the inside of your car more often than not. So this was the Gen 1 uh, center console in walnut. So this is the color that uh, that we put on my buddy's car. It looks super, super cool with his white uh, paint on the exterior, walk it up to it. That was a cool video, actually. So this is the walnut finish, which is meant or designed to match the OEM dash that comes with the black interior models. Um, they also have these other colors. This is like a a reddish one. They have a more brown one here. That's kind of cool. These are all the samples they sent me and kind of a lighter birch, very modern, very cool. Now they do have the uh, dash overlay as well if you want to match everything out. So uh, we just did the center console because it was matching the OEM and that's the look that my buddy wanted to, to go with. And then check this one out. This is my favorite. This is the black. So if I were to do this, if uh, Hillsmade wants to send me the black, I'm all for that. <laughs> so uh, I would love the black on my car. It looks really, really nice. So uh, very, very cool. The Hills is the company. Here's their logo. And this is the product. So there you have that uh, center console for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. Hillsmade.com is the website. If you want to transform the look of your Tesla and stop looking at what Tesla gave you, or you just want to change it up, you want to, you know, make it look a little different for a little while, it's, you, you could remove it later. I mean, it's, it's that easy. So uh, it's a very cool modification, very cool upgrade. And, you know, transform the look of your car from Hillsmade.com and I, I totally appreciate you joining us here on the channel. If you have watched this far, if you are this far into a like 20 minute video, uh, thank you so much, but you might as well hit the like button, right? And then you might as well go to the next step and hit the subscribe button so you get future stuff from us or even the notification bell so you know immediately when there's something new from Tesla Tips and Trips. Hey, I don't know if you've noticed, we're doing more uh, short videos as well. And, and the thought behind that is, Within 60 seconds, I can give you my thoughts on a topic or, you know, anything Tesla related. It's real easy to, to you know, pop out my phone and, and do a 60 second short and put it up on YouTube and not a lot of work needs to go into it. And 
that way I can get my thoughts and tips and trips and all that kind of stuff in there as well, superchargers. So uh, again, thank you so much for joining us here on the channel and uh, do all that stuff I already told you about and we'll catch you on the next video. Mm -hmm.